Hey guys, Yellowbone69 here, and uh, a few viewers from YouTube have been asking me about the landing gear I made for my iFly 4 quadcopter. And, you know, I guess it couldn't could be for any quadcopter. But, uh, this is the setup. Once again, it's pretty basic. Used a couple of metal plates, screwed them together. I cut up a set of iFly 4 landing gear attachments. That way I can stick it on and take it off. So it doesn't always have to be there. It's just one servo plug going in to control everything. The retracts connect together with a Y harness. And I'll show you the materials I used for my latest creation. Stand by. Alright guys, so I got a piece of uh, aluminum extrusion, that's just from uh, Home Depot or Canadian Tire. I cut that up to size and that's these plates. <clears throat> this one's a bit thicker, most of the materials here are what I use, just different size. So the aluminum ex extrusion, two pieces to make a cross and I also, that's what I use to attach these pieces. In the plumbing section, they have these plastic pieces used for, you know, coupling wires, uh, water pipes together and shit like that. So I use those with some wooden dowel. And there's my legs. End cap, a T connector, another end cap, my carbon fiber rod here, different size again, goes right into that hole and I fastened it with. Two different size screws. Here. Self tapping block, of course, so they just kind of blend in. Um, I attached the plates together with these screws. One, I was concerned about weight, I didn't want to use two big screws. And secondly, they have to make sure they clear the attachment here. Now I got silicone and Gorilla glue going around, so don't worry about that because you're never going to see it once it's attached. And of course, I used Plasti Dip to spray everything so it matched. And I ripped up the wood dowel a bit just so it had a little bit of texture. It's hard to see on the camera. But yeah, that's my cheap ass landing gear. Retracks. on minimal materials. So I'll hook this up to the quad and be right back. Alright, so got the quad back up. I hooked up the uh, retracts and I stuck the legs onto the bottom of the quad. So I'm one-handed here, bear with me. But, there you go. It's all clipped in like the natural landing gear that came with it. Like I say, the best part is I unplug the retracts and the landing gear comes off. I can put the old stuff back on. Now you're probably wondering why did I leave this section? Front and back. And it's because I'm sticking out. I still have the video transmitter to attach. Um, you know, I got front lights to put on. Uh, the video transmitter, did I say that one? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. I still got the OSD to go back on here, so I figured I'd keep those a little bit long. And that way, I still have access in my side panels here. Because I don't want to fill those up. And I can attach headlight here, headlight here. And in the back I'll put the uh, video equipment. So that's that. Hope you guys uh, found that enjoyable. Maybe you can make your own and give it a shot. Well, that's all I did was make an attempt. Once I figured out how the retracts work, the rest was just cosmetic. So, thanks for watching.
homemade retracks.